Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your average stacker again. Hope you guys are well. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and watching this video on my stacking and collecting journey. Um, been getting loads and loads of comments uh, at the moment with regards to the quality of Royal Mint. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, let's unbox an another latest <laughs> unboxing from the Royal Mint. Um, and this is the To The Beast um, line of England quarter ounce gold version I believe so let's check it out um, the quality of this one and uh, yeah <laughs> so I've uh, got this like a day after or yeah day after um, received the silver version um, but uh, I, I won't have time to upload this video straight onto YouTube um, but uh, also uh, let's wait for a few days before uh, so we can catch up on uh, what's really happening um, with the Royal Mint. And so, um, yeah, I've, I've realised that, um, you know, I shouldn't have sent back the silver coins so hastily. Um, so I'll check the tracking and it's already uh, back at Royal Mint. Um, so I was just so disappointed with that coin, um, that, well, the coins, that uh, I just sent it off straight away because I didn't want it in my possession any longer than I needed to. Um, but I realised... Um, this came today which is the next day um, I should have kept it and then so I can record it in this video um, just to see the difference between silver and gold really but uh, so I am waiting for the replacement of the silver so let's have a look at when this gold was created um, so it looks like it was created before the silver which is interesting okay um, so yeah even if this quality is not up to scratch for the gold proof i think this is the gold proof quarter version um i'll keep it for a couple of days because i believe the replacement will come in a few days for the silver proofs and then i can record another video um side by side with that replacement so then if this is bad then i'll return it um but also record a video so um and also it gives me a few days to decide what to do with it um because I am deciding whether to continue with this series or not. Um, so, and uh, another thing that's really frustrating is that um, Royal Mint have decided to um, provide the display case on the third coin now rather than the second coin, which is really, really frustrating. Because, well, frustrating and also false advertising. And I'm been I'm been thinking that about it more. Um, where we we've been lied to as a consumer, and we've been lied to with um, false advertising and so um, when I first bought the Seymour Panther I factored that in to um, buying making that purchase um, because the display case is worth what 40 50 pounds I believe and um, which was 50% of the value of uh, the Seymour Panther and also obviously you have to buy the second coin which is you know makes it 25% of the value of both coins um, if it's worth like 40 50, 50 pounds that display case so i was factoring that in so now they push the can well push the display case to the third coin which is really frustrating and um you know i don't know whether <laughs> you know uh, if it was me again re uh, purchasing again i wouldn't have purchased it um the seymour panther and uh, line of england um and the series but uh who knows that um i would have still been uh looking at the coins anyway but uh yeah that's another story but um yeah so quarter ounce proof line of england um get the same booklet i believe as the silver uh, let's have a quick check um so yeah line of england um so yeah that's the booklet pluck it file it away and so yeah this looks like it's been in good condition look at that it's, um good condition there is uh doesn't look like uh anyone's touched it or anything because the you know the packaging looks like it's uh pristine good condition this is what i'm expecting <laughs> you know when you purchase a pristine new brand new coin and uh, so let's have a look at the quality the moment of truth um see what was good and bad about it but uh i'm hoping for the best here because it's gold uh proof and they've always been better than silver so let's have a look oh that's good now now they're including these in uh the packaging so that's good um 
that they're including that. So the CO8, a uh, high number, I believe, 0753. I think the minted was, yep, 1000. Uh, maximum coin mintage is 1010. And so, as you can see, there's no display box or case with this coin either. So, yeah, I was looking forward to the case, uh, receiving the case, but uh, let's have a look at the quality. Okay, looks good on camera. And so, everything's looking good at the moment on camera, but uh, yep, yeah, um, I'm going to pause the video and have a look at it on better lighting and see what flaws or any any flaws that I can see but nothing at the moment um, I'm just looking around there because there was a scratch on the silver around about there um, so yeah um, I'm just going to pause the video and then uh, have a look at it off camera and then see how it goes and then I'll, I'll come back and let you guys know so be right back Yo, so I'm back, and ha after having a look at the coin, um, yeah, this is going back. <laughs> uh, so, this coin here, um, I don't know whether it's by design or whatnot, but uh, it might be. Um, but there, it seems to be like two little dings on uh, two fingers of the um, hand, let's say, for the line, the pause. Um, but the main reason we're turning it. <laughs> Is because the queen, although it looks really good there, um, there seems to be some discolouring um, on the coin on the back. Um, I can't explain it, but well, I could try to explain it because I don't think you can see it. I'm not quite sure if you can see that. If there's discolouring, like like the, I don't know if you're looking at a painting, uh, let's say it seems to like be faded as well. The more it goes down to the neck or around there, it seems to be like a some sort of colouring gone wrong. Um, I don't know whether the camera picks it up, but uh, you might be able to see like the colour is not quite defined. Um, so, well, I believe it should be the same colour on the whole Queen's neck and the Queen's face there. Um, but you uh, see, it looks like from what I can see from the lightning, uh, the light that I, um, I shined it on etc it seems like I don't know it seems like smudges um, little patches of smudges on the Queen's head um, and a neck uh, on the face there um, don't know where you, the camera picks it up but uh, from where I was looking at the coin with the with the um, loop it kind of looked like uh, there were smudges on the neck and the head there um, so that's probably why I'll return this as well actually I'm just gonna ask for a refund on this one um, if anything um, or I might ask for exchange I probably don't know what to do but uh, I'll think about it for a few days and wait for the silver proof comes um, but uh, yeah it seems a real shame because at first thought this would be a good condition coin uh, everything else looks uh, kind of perfect just a little bit one dot of missing frosting on the shield on one of the lines of the shield um, so and although that had two dents there um, I think it might be by design i um, not quite sure but I'll, I'll read up on it and look at other people's pictures um, but this like different this colour on this coin from the necks of the queen from the neck of the queen and the uh, face there um, it looks like smudges like it did look like fingerprints <laughs> but actually the camera might pick up a little bit there there's little patches of this color like it looks like someone touched it with a fingerprint or something like that or something I don't know but uh, either way um, not quite sure I'll keep this to be honest um, and I'll have a look at other people's pictures on it um, but uh, yeah Really nice coin though. Um, I know on my other video about the silver proofs, I didn't actually look at the <laughs> didn't actually look at the coin much um, at the design um, because yeah, I was more upset than anything else with the quality. Um, but quality seems a bit better on this gold, uh, apart from the discolouring um, and the smudges. But the design 
the shield. I really like the shield. More detail in the shield compared to the panther and uh, lion there as well. I think the lion could have been more bulkier, let's say. Um, it's a bit too skinny <laughs> for my liking, but uh, I still don't like the design. Um, the text around it. Uh, lion of England. And then the crown obviously goes in the middle of the text there. Um, kind of like that. Because I know the Boolean one um, is a little bit of a different design. Although the line should be the same. Uh, the Queen obviously looks good at the back there, as always. <laughs> um, the Queen. So, yeah. That's the story of this coin. Um, which is uh, interesting. Now I'm going to have a think of what to do and research if there are like, actually problems with this coin. Um, so high COA there and yeah not quite sure i'm going to keep this with this and also keep going on with this series so uh, let me know what you guys do and whether you you think this design is better than the silver um this design does look good well this gold quarter ounce proof um obviously the one ounce proof will be a lot better but uh <laughs> at the moment this is the quarter ounce and yeah this is what i'm um, going through at the moment uh, thank you very much for joining me on my journey and letting me know um, about my experience and your experience so thank you very much for that and hopefully i'll be able to see you in the next one cheers thanks bye